Servus guys and welcome to another tutorial of mine. Today I'm showing you how to produce, uh, well, how to use your crystal growth accelerator in an automated way. For example, to produce Fluix crystal and tell this, uh, to tell the system, okay, let's produce uh, 10 Fluix crystal and we are using a dropper who's dropping, uh, well, the stuff into water. Um, between the growth accelerators and uh, a transfer node is picking this up. This is also working for Fluix um, uh, seeds, uh, for crystal seeds. And uh, well, first of all, we are going to build up the setting and I'm showing you how to use the dropper and uh, follow it uh, by, well, we are producing some seeds, uh, some crystal seeds and well, um, yeah. Let's get into it. Just um, I'm digging a hole here, uh, very deep to, well, to show it better. F to to. Yeah, well, it's easier to see for you if it's a bit, a bit deeper. So there will be our gro growth accelerators. We need four of them. It's the maximum output. And they have to be built like this with the black thing on top. And in the middle will be water and yeah, we might as well add water or add it later. It doesn't matter. So some water in there. And yes, uh, now what I'm searching here, I don't know. Oh, we need some uh, cable, of course, uh, smart cable, uh, AI cable um, to power the accelerator up and um, we power them from below. And that's what I'm doing here. Need some energy here. Just connect them like this. Okay, everything is powered up. So the accelerator do have energy now and whenever a seed is dropped in there, uh, they will, yeah, enhance, fasten up the growth of the seed. And, but more or less I'm using this for having yeah, crystals and you don't need to have the growth accelerator to produce crystals, but well, you can have everything in one. So uh, this is quite nice. Yeah, build the dropper like this. You have this black thing there has to look down. So this is important. And uh, on top of the dropper, we put our ME interface, which I might do now, yes. And the ME interface has to look down. It's also important. So everything the ME interface yeah, is producing is getting on stuff or, or dragging out of the system will be put down low directly to the dropper, which is what we want to have. So connect this to your system like this. And yeah, as you already know, ME interfaces look the same as before, the big ones and the small ones. So we need a pattern like this. Uh, we say one nether quartz, one charged certus quartz, uh, crystal and one redstone equals with processing pattern, of course, not crafting, is one fluix crystal. So take this pattern out and um, yeah, we have enough stuff in our inventory. I hope we got some redstone. I think we have. Oh, let's try it out. We will see. Yeah, just put the pattern into your ME interface and now the Flux crystal is craftable. I put it out on my existing devices. So everything is real here. <laughs> so let's produce 10 Flux crystals start and here we go. And as you can see, everything went through the interface into the dropper. And now the dropper needs a redstone signal to, well, drop it into the water below. And that's what we're gonna build next. And therefore we need some stones and a little bit of space and more light, of course. So we build like this and I'm showing you how, it, how it's built. Uh, this is the setting. We need a comparator then followed by yeah, comparator directly at the dropper, then the repeater and another repeater there into a stone block, which is holding the redstone signal. And uh, well, everything connected with redstone, just build it like this and it will work. 
So we got the comparator, then the repeater and the stone, of course, like this and like this. And now we do have when we have to connect it all the way up and you will see it starts clocking and everything is dropping because the red soul signal is splitting up and coming back again. And he, now the dropper is, em is dropping everything yeah, right into the earth because, uh, well, there's no water and no uh, transfer node at the moment, which is the next thing that we have to build. So let's get some space here. Okay, water we need. We still need water. And we need a transfer node, the normal one for items. Then we need an item filter, which is important. And we need a, a how's it called? I think world interaction upgrade. World interaction upgrade, right. So, let's, well, I think we need a stone. It's easier to build. Just put a stone in there, then followed by the transfer node. And now everything about the item filter and the world interaction upgrade. And we need a chest, of course, to drop everything into it. Um, the problem is now that everything that's dropped down below will be transferred by the transfer node into the chest. So every crystal, every seed, uh, which will be yeah, inserted by the ME system, will be directly yeah, transferred from the water into the chest. And that's not what we want because well, uh, b for example, the seeds have to have to grow there. And so we need an item filter. Just get your item filter, right click on it or take it in your hand, right click on it. And as you just saw, just put the things that should be transferred into your item filter and put this item filter into your transfer node. That's the way uh, it works. Uh, also, we need this world interaction upgrade uh, into the transfer node that, uh, well, it's otherwise it's not working with water that's the whole deal and well now flux crystal is craftable and should work so uh, we put the flux crystal into our item filter so no redstone or anything else will be transferred only flux crystal will be transferred due to our item filter and you see there everything is dropping and yeah it's transferring our 20 flux crystals so this is working pretty fine and uh, well the same goes with seeds which is uh, yeah well crystal growth accelerator mean or are meant for uh, yeah growing up crystal seeds uh, like this set of squad seeds and uh, well you can um, have it in your me system uh, you have to uh, yeah craft them, let them craft into your in your uh, molecular assembler, and followed by yeah a drop into our water, and yeah getting it back into an uh, into our ME system, and I think uh, yeah we can have a short look how this is working or more or less short look because the setting is the same, and it's not that not that difficult, so. Um, as we know, or let's see, we um, need a recipe here or a pattern uh, for uh, pure Certus Quartz or pure, let's go for pure Fluix Crystal. We need one pure Fluix Crystal. Uh, let's look it up, how it's crafted. Uh, that's wrong. And yeah, Fluix Seed made from Fluix Dust and Sand. So we need Fluix Dust and f Sand. So some more sand please and fluix dust uh, too much dust okay fluix fluix there we go so now we tell the system um, one fluix dust and one sand equal we have to go for crafting pattern two seats so this is our crafting recipe, which has to be in our uh, normal molecular assembler. Has nothing to do with uh, the dropper, because the seeds had to be cra have to be crafted in our system, and not uh, or have to be crafted before they being dropped. And now we have to tell the system that uh, the fluid seeds, um, well. 
result into uh, a Fluix crystal. So we go back to processing and say Fluix seed to pure Fluix crystal processing item and we need the pattern with our recipe. And this recipe goes now into our ME interface. So the system knows whenever you want to craft one pure Fluix crystal you have to drop one seed or have to create one seed and put it in there. So we craft them now and we already got 100 seeds uh, but it doesn't matter it would be would have been crafted uh, if there were no fluid seeds. And now you see all the fluid seeds uh, are getting dropped into the water and nothing is going in there because, uh, well, our item filter is there, but, but still we got a problem that we need to tell the transfer node that pure fluid crystal have to go through, otherwise they will stay in the water. So we need to get out the item filter. And as long as there's no item filter in there, everything will be transferred anyway. So we see that in this chest will be uh, some stuff there, which shouldn't be there, like the seeds, yeah. And, but now nothing is getting in there anymore and you see the seeds so, um, yeah, growing in there. And well, this is uh, mostly it. Um, yeah, to finish it up, we need uh, some, uh, we need an import bus to get everything from the chest into our system. A cable. Yeah, and here we go. Now everything is imported in our system. The fluid seeds are growing and that's the way how you are able to craft, um, yeah, or to grow or to enhance your, the growth of your fluid seeds. And yeah, you do not have to be to do anything manually, everything can be automatic, um, automatically done by your ME system. And well, I think the setting is very smart, very easy, uh, very small. And uh, I think there is another way to do this with without any other uh, subjects uh, or objects. Um, um, except from AI but well this is working very fine and yeah I hope you enjoyed it if you need some other advices with applied energistics I got more tutorials on my on this playlist and yeah thank you for watching have a nice week have a nice day and see you next time servus guys